Hello, it's Alina with Xactivate Mastery back with another Tuesday Tech Tip. And today we're going to talk about keeping your report line item numbers in order. Now, I've already done a previous YouTube video on this earlier in the year, but I wanted to let you guys know there's a way that you can automatically make your reports resequence without having to think about it. So actually one of my cohorts here, they, they figured this out this week. I actually did not know about this and uh, learned something new. So I wanted to pass it on to you all here today. So let's take a look at what I'm talking about. Whenever you have a report, you can just go ahead here. I'm just going to do a pre preview. When you have a report that you've ran and you see that the line item numbers are all out of whack, like me here, my first line item number is number 22. Then we go down and we're doing okay, and then, oh, 910. That's because I moved some stuff around. And then when I added some more line items, it's going to 23, 24. So this just looks like a mess. doesn't really look like I know what I'm doing here, and uh, do not like to feel that way. So the old way of doing it is I would have directed you guys to resequence your line numbers here in the print screen. If you forget to click here, you'll send up a report with your line item numbers all out of whack. So this is an integral reason to start using this auto feature. Again, if you ever want to be able to find that just on the fly, you can go to print, it's in the top right corner, and then you'll find resequence here. Now what I'm going to show you today is how it will automatically prompt you to resequence when you click on print. So let me show you how this is going to work. You're going to find preferences here in the control center main tab, the top of your screen, and the sub tab preferences right next to the dashboard sub tab that we're already on. Click on preferences. Now when you come into preferences, a lot of times it says settings environment here. All right. Yours may or may not say this, but uh, most of them do whenever you come in here and you need to drop down the list and choose profile. Right. Once your settings are at profile, I want you to scoot all the way over to where it says user, and I want you to drop down this list and choose all users. Now, even if you're the only user on the computer, on the desktop, whatever kind of version that you have, you, even if you are the single user, this setting will not show up unless you click all users. If you click all users, different settings will show up here on the left. Okay, so let's go take a look at what we're looking for here. So under system, I want you to find reports. Okay, so again, settings must be profile, user must be all users, and then under system, you've got to find reports. Under reports, you can scroll down and at the bottom, it says resequence line numbers prompt on print. So every time when I go to click on print, it's going to tell me to resequence just like that, and I'm good to go. I don't have to remember to resequence my line items. It's a really beautiful thing. If you're getting frustrated or can't find reports under this project settings area, you'll want to be sure that you have all users selected, and then reports will show up. So different preferences will show up depending on which user you've got selected here. Also, be sure to look at the profile type. If you're using contractor profile instead of carrier, you'll want to go ahead and set this up for the contractor profile as well. There is a checkbox for both. So whether you want to go ahead and just do that now, carrier and contractor, so whether you use either profile in the future, that way you will be all set up with this resequence line number. Now if I go back to my estimate here and take a look, you'll see as soon as I click on print in the top right corner, Bam, it asks me, do you want to resequence? Why, yes, I do. And now every time I go to click on print, that will prompt me to resequence right then. I'll never have out of order line item numbers again. Everything looks really professional and buttoned up. So I thought that was a really great feature. Glad I learned something new this week and I could pass it on to y'all. My name is Alina Wilson. If you want to check out Xactimate Mastery, what we're all about, go to www.xmatemastery.com. If you like this video and want to see more topics like this, be sure to like the video and subscribe below. I'll see you next week.